how you doing today? I'm here again with a new video and this video we have a fairly old but not that old an ASUS Republic Gamers G750 laptop these are the laptop type of Alienware laptop they have a really big heat sink at the bottom they are really humongous and this one uh, without giving any service job or anything like that it start failing so the error that it's giving after booting up a few seconds or a minute down the boot it just shuts down so we're gonna open it up and clean it repaste and also fix the issue so if you guys want to know how to clean up your laptop for ASUS G750 this is the way to go so let's get it started first thing first flip it over remove the battery by pulling this slider right there and lifting up your battery if you want to replace your battery the battery number is right there this one is A42-G750 right. next we want to remove the service cover at the bottom for the RAMs and the hard drives in order to do that you have to remove this plastic cover right here just lift it halfway up and you're going to see the screw right underneath The screw has a seat lock on it, so you cannot just remove it completely, you just have to loosen it up. Once you did that, just grab this plastic, just pull up or put a screwdriver right underneath and just lift up the cover. You can just go ahead and clean up the filter, the dust filters right down there. Alright, next, we're gonna remove the hard drive, which is being held down by three screws one right there, two, and three. Once you remove the screws, just slide the hard drive towards the gap right there by pulling up on this. And there's your hard drive. This one is, yep, yeah, one terabyte. Actually, it's 1.5 terabyte. That's a rare number. Anyway, so you're gonna remove the other caddy if you wanted to add to hard drive. So if this is empty, just remove it. There's three screws. Uh, slide the caddy if you want to place in your second hard drive or SSD hard drive you can just do it easily right here next we're gonna remove this rubber caps right here so just put a screwdriver just pull them out and there's one right here too these are very pretty long ones and at the back side they are on each corner too alright let me see if I have a right, I gotta flip it over because I can't see the camera is on my way all right, what we're gonna do right now we're gonna remove all the screws every screw right on the outside under the battery even the ones under the cover. There's one right there, one right by the ramps, and on every corner right there. And also we're gonna remove the adapter for the hard drives. There's two screws. Now that we remove most of the screws on the bottom, we're gonna remove this caddy adapter. There might be a screw from the other side holding it, so let's leave it there for now. Next, we wanna remove the CD-ROM. That we remove the screw right there, but you don't wanna yank the CD-ROM cover right here. You're gonna damage the cover. Right at the bottom side here, you're gonna see this metal thing right there. You wanna push on this metal towards the CD-ROM. And the CD-ROM is just gonna pull out, just like that. And you're gonna see the CD-ROM opening this way. And under the CD-ROM, there should be three screws. I only see oh, one is already loosened up. Second one is missing, and I got a third one right there. Now 
Next, we want to remove the bottom cover. In order to remove it, you need to grab your guitar pick. Find mine. I'll use this guitar pick right here. It's really durable, flexible, and it is smooth. It won't scratch. So you're gonna stick it right in between the gap of the top and bottom cover, and just wiggle it around. Uh, once you did halfway through, just flip over the laptop. Damn, this is heavy. And you know, we'll work a little bit more. And once you got it on 45 degree angle, just be careful. At the bottom, there's a ribbon cables right there. You want to remove the ribbon cables. Those are for the keyboard. Just lift up the locks and pull out. There's a backlight right there. Do that and the keyboard. I can open the hinge all the way up. And before we do that, they should tell you to rem close it and remove the back cover here. These are the extra speakers. I did not know they were had a speaker back here, but they do. So remove the speaker cable. So these are the front side speaker I'm guessing. Alright. Now next you want to remove these two screws right on each corner. After removing these two, you should be able to Unhook the cover, just slide it out, and it should come out. All right, this is the bottom cover. You got the keyboard down here again. This is a mesh keyboard, it comes in from the other side. So, if you want to remove it, you gotta uh, remove all this plastic melted right here and put a new keyboard in. And your touchpad, trackpad is right there. All right, down here we got the two RAMs. They are eight gigs and eight gigs. Uh, so we're gonna remove the RAMs just by pulling this hinge just apart, and the RAM is gonna come out in 45 degree angle. Just remove it. Same thing with the other one. 45 degree angle. Next, we wanna remove the a stick card reader cable right there. Let's pull it out. And this is for the hard drive adapter. Just lift up the hinge. Comes out. And it did have a screw from this side if you want to remove the adapter. I'm just going to remove the cable. I'm just going to leave the adapter right there. Remove the ribbon cable from this end. If you want to remove the SD card reader, there's only three screws, there's not much to it. And the subwoofer is right there. And what else we got down here? So, we are going to remove the ribbon cable for the LCD, just right over there. Also remove the Wi-Fi antennas right there. Once you got the antennas and you got the ribbon cable, you can close the LED slowly. Let me flip this over so I can see. We're gonna remove the hinge. There are three screws on each hinge. One, two, two screws right on this one. No, that three screws. One, two, three. Three screws on the other side. Remove those. Once you remove the screws, just go ahead and rip off this cable, this tape. Pull out the USB for the webcam. Don't pull up the cable, you're gonna yank it, just pull it from the corners from this end. Also remove the Wi-Fi cable. Now you can just go ahead and slide out from the L C D. So this is your L C D. What do we have down here? We got the power jack, we gotta loosen it up. 
we got we're gonna disconnect the fans first disconnect the extra USB ports just by disconnecting this cable right there just by pulling it down and there's your Wi-Fi board we're gonna unhook the motherboard We unhook the motherboard. You gotta loosen up this one. We're gonna first let's start from this end, removing the USB hub right here. There we go. Loosen up the fan. There's only two screws. Pull off the fan, this is a humongous fan. Wow. <laughs> what a guys. You won't believe what I just found out. Anyway, so I'm just gonna show you guys after this. So there is the fan the USB hub right there. These are all the dust, you wanna remove the dust. So let's put this one back here for one second. As you guys saw, the fan was right here, and this plastic thing right here was over the fan, so the air goes through the heat sink and comes up from the other side. So this one is okay here, right? Once I remove, you can see the fan. You can see the fan air goes in or goes from the other side and goes through the heat sink. But once I remove this one, what do I see here? Instead of opening this thing, it just tapping the air so the air won't flow through the heatsink so I do not know why they did this or they made a mistake they supposed to be under the fan but they somehow it came over that's why it was overheating and it just burned the GPU but it was just like that so quality control is not great with this one so if you just bought a new one I suggest you open it up to here to open this uh, tape right there so you won't tap the ventilation right there that's a humongous gap right there it was like only with about a one centimeter of heatsink so yeah I don't know how is the other one so we're gonna check out so it was pretty much tapping half of the fan right there so almost half that's about like a 30 40 degrees difference airflow all right we're gonna do the same thing for this side we're gonna remove this power jack or power on this is the power on board right here uh, remove the You see guys, this is staying flash, so this one is not going in between the fan and the heatsink, it's right over on top. And let's see the other side. And just remove the fan first. And just slide it out. Okay. This one is okay because it doesn't have a tape, so I'm guessing, but it's really dirty. It does have a tape, it is actually, again, look, it is actually tapping half of the, not half, it's way less than the other one, this is more less than that, but it is actually blocking the air flow. It is blocking like a uh, more than 0.4 centimeters, half a centimeters of the airflow. So you might want to actually open your laptop to just fix these errors that they have. Next, we're gonna remove the subwoofer by unplugging the screw right there. We're gonna remove the board for the audio jack and microphone.
now the best part is that we have to remove the motherboard in order to remove the motherboard you have to remove the screws which they have on a white arrow right beside them so this one right here and this one right over there actually this one too right over there I'm just gonna fast forward this this one So yeah, once you remove it, just lift up from this side and pull out. Holy moly. It is a very heavy heatsink. Jesus. So this is your bottom cover if you want to clean it up. Go ahead. You're going to grab the bottom side. Now we're going to, there's a video card right there. This is a full blown video card right there. I'm guessing this is a regular PC video card so we're gonna remove it but just by removing one two three screws uh, the heatsink won't let it go down so we have to remove the heatsink anyways so let's go ahead and remove the heat Pull out in 45 degree angle. This is a PCI Express video card, so we gotta clean up this whole mess. So let's do this one right there. We also gonna remove the heatsink for the CPU. There we go. So yeah. As you can see, this is the one I was talking about. You want to open up this one. We just remove it for the heck's sake. So, we're going to clean that one too. This is a captain tape. You can remove the captain tape. Nothing will happen. You can actually go ahead and clean this motherboard with a brush if you want to. I'm just going to wash it in an alcohol. So let's go back to this one. Remove the bottom plate. You see, the bottom plate is not messy. I don't know how many gigs of RAM this one has, but there's a whole bunch of them. So if this was just like that, these thermal pads have to go over here. You can actually go ahead and replace the thermal pads if you want to. But if you're not going to overclock it, it's not necessary. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this uh, motherboard. I mean, video. All right, guys. Ready right now? Um, I just crashed and I have to do right now I don't want to repaste it so what I did pretty much I just put the other thermal paste clean the whole board I put the new thermal paste with an optics 5 thermal paste I didn't go any liquid metal this for the same thing I cleaned the heat sinks the thermal paste and I put the new and I put the four screws on the CPU hit and the four screw on the GPU and then screws that holds the video card with the motherboard. And the RAM's right there. So I'm gonna actually put it back together. So I'm gonna grab the bottom cover. There we go. I already have this one plugged in, so I'll move it again. So 
So we're gonna plug in, put in the motherboard this first. Make sure all the I/O go in. Plug in the USB 3 right there. Put the fan in. Make sure this fan has to go underneath this right there. Now we're gonna put it for the AP board right there. The fan. Now we're gonna plug in the N4 to the port. So I plug in, I already screwed the jack and the power switch here, so I don't know if I can just shove the right underneath. Nope. I have to remove the clip, so we're gonna remove the on-off switch. I'm gonna put the fan down, and we're gonna put the screw for the fan. Put the screw for the motherboard right here in the corner. I put the on off switch. The two most important screws for the unwitch. The subwoofer cable right at one. And we're gonna run that quick test to make sure we have power before we go further. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the charger. And I just wanted to get any power. Plug in the charger right there. Press the button. We have the light on. So the power is going to the board. Everything should be fine now. Next, we're gonna put the smaller screw right there by the on off switch. Uh, fuse on the motherboard, shut down. The middle one is the most important one. The So put the fan screws. All right. Now we are done here. We're just gonna double check it, make sure everything is okay. 
Don't worry if you miss one or two, just put the main ones that you. Uh, if you really pick up about putting screws, go back in the video and say you need to put the screws. So. Anyway, so we're gonna grab the screen. I'm gonna lay down the screen like this. Right over the hinges. I got to this over. I got the screws for the screen. Remember there were three screws. They are marked with an arrow. Now we're gonna plug in the uh, what do you call this the uh, web uh, next you gonna in the Wi Fi antennas right Also put the screw right where the back connector goes, so it is right in the corner. Put the LCD cut in place. Right. Next we're gonna grab the cable for the card reader, we're gonna plug in, slide it underneath and Close the lid, run the cable right there, open this lock on the side, push the cable, lock. Then I'll grab the cable for the hard drive adapter. And right in here it says, Louis says, MB stands for motherboard and hard HDD. So I'll put the M for the motherboard side. You shouldn't make any so. I don't matter which side goes there. You want to do it the way they have it. Right there. Now we put the microphone and audio jack right there, push it down with the screws. Is that the long one? I oh, know this one goes from bottom to top, so you don't have to put the one screw right there. This screw right here comes from the bottom end, and it's the top cover. So yeah, we pretty much done here. There's nothing. Next, we gotta grab the tower. Just the keyboard. I'm gonna slide it right on the screen, 
You leave it in a 45 degree position. So this way we can the cables right underneath. I don't know if you can see it. So the keyboard and the byte and the trackpad is connected. I'm gonna push down the sides. Make sure you hear the sound. I'm gonna close the laptop lid and work in the back side. You're gonna put the screw that are holding the keyboard top panel. Next, grab the back, which is the speakers. Now plug in the speaker cable right there. Right where the jack is for the webcam, just right beside it. Once that's plugged, just put down. Now, the hard part is finished. Now we want to get to the easiest part. I put all the bottom screws there. Pretty much. So this long screw should be right here. Where the audio is. There you go. Put the very screws right hinges are. Put a long screw right there. The flat are three flat headed screws was right on the battery. Let me see. I can't see it up. There you go, right there. Alright, the button is finished. 
remember we're missing one through here, so I'm just gonna put one metal. If I have any screws, I'm just gonna put the ones. See which one I missed. I need to put the CD one, but I'm gonna put it there. Over there. Over there. I did a big platform. Alright, which one is I'm missing right now? I think I have one few more screws to put it right under the CD roll. No, this is way too easy. Not this way I'm holding it. Actually do I need Maybe this one will reach. Yep. Alright, next we have the CD room. We're gonna sit right underneath. Gotta put the screw for the CD room right there. Next we got the empty hard drive cap. Put it there, slide down. Right there. And then grab the other lady. Look at the hard drive in. I'm actually gonna turn it on. It's running on. I'm gonna screw put the caddy right there. You need two screws, you don't need to put the whole thing. Okay, and that should be all. Now, you're gonna put the bottom cover on. And if you want, go ahead and put the screw. I'm not going to do it because I still have the hard drive in, and that should be all. You can turn it over and power it and see if it's working. It should work. Let's plug in. So you gotta clean the screen. Yep. The bias, so I gotta fix. Configure the bias. Keyboard is work, and everything is fair. I gotta set the date and time. This one is set back at two thousand nine. All right, guys. If you guys like this video, if you like it, you know what to do. click that thumbs up button. And if you have any requests or any comments, you know where to leave them. And I hope I see you guys in my video. Thanks for.